In the previous video, we discussed about the lipolysis pathway. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the fatty acid mobilization and the carnitine shuttle. First of all, let's recap the things. In lipolysis pathway, when we had low levels of glucose, GPCR pathway is driven, which activates several enzymes that hydrolyze the triacylglycerides into diacyl and monoacylglycerides. And then eventually at the end, we get the free fatty acids in the cytoplasm of adipocyte as shown in the diagram. So here we have the free fatty acids. Now we need to mobilize these fatty acids in the process called mobilization of fatty acids across the cells. Here we see these fatty acids are in adipocyte and this is our bloodstream and on the right we have the myocyte cell which is having fatty acid transporter as shown in the diagram. Also within the bloodstream we are having the serum albumin. Now let's start the mobilization part. First of all the free fatty acids easily diffuse into the bloodstream where these free fatty acids molecules are taken up by the serum albumin as shown in the diagram. Then this serum albumin carries it to the myocyte as shown in the diagram. Here it gives up the free fatty acids and these fatty acids get into the myocyte through the fatty acid transporter as shown in the diagram. Then within the myocyte cytoplasm, the molecules of free fatty acids are acted upon by fatty acyl synthetase enzyme and converts it into fatty acyl COA. This process is termed as activation of fatty acids. Now here we see within the myocyte we are having the mitochondria also. It has got outer mitochondrial membrane and the inner mitochondrial membrane as shown in the diagram. On the outer membrane we have the CPT1 enzyme that's carnitine palmitoyl transferase. Before we shuttle the fatty acyl into mitochondrial matrix, it must be noted that the fatty acids with chain lengths of 12 or fewer carbons enter mitochondria without the help of membrane transporters. But when we have long chain fatty acids, we need transporters and a specific shuttle what we call as carnitine shuttle. So here we see the fatty acyl COA combines with the carnitine molecule and this reaction is mediated by CPT1 enzyme. And from this reaction we get the fatty acyl carnitine or simply acyl carnitine. And in this reaction COA is given off. Then this acyl carnitine is easily diffused into the intermembrane space of mitochondria as shown in the animation. Now from here we need to move this acyl carnitine into the matrix but it's not permeable. So for this to occur we have translocase protein on the inner mitochondrial membrane. Here we see acyl carnitine passes through this translocase into the matrix but this translocase protein is antiporter which means from matrix we need to transport carnitine into the intermembrane space and then from intermembrane space this carnitine is sent out. Now we have acyl carnitine in the matrix. Here in the matrix it combines with coenzyme A again that's COA and this reaction is mediated by CPG2 enzyme and we get the fatty acyl COA and carnitine back and we know this carnitine is sent back to the cytoplasm as we have already seen that and this fatty acyl COA is driven into beta oxidation which yields energy rich molecules that later drive into Krebs cycle and ETC. So this is how we mobilize fatty acids from adipocyte into the myocyte and how carnitine shuttle works. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.